When talking about electric cars, one cannot ignore the fact that this market existed and even thrived for a while long before Tesla. Since the early 20th century, electric cars were already cruising the streets of America. According to the Washington Post, in 1901, approximately 38% of cars in the United States were electric, 40% ran on steam engines, and only 22% used gasoline. Streets in many major cities were being cleared of tons of manure left by horse-drawn carriages, and gasoline cars were considered too dirty and difficult to handle. By 1915, there were 1,325 electric cars in Washington, around the same number in Detroit, over 4,000 in Chicago, and over 3,000 in New York. At that time, electric cars were advocated by women. Electric systems were cleaner, quieter, and much easier to handle compared to steam and especially gasoline cars, which emitted noxious fumes and had to be started with a hand crank. Charging stations for electric cars were mainly located in numerous city car showrooms. By 1909, electric cars could travel up to 80 miles on a single charge. Electric cars became fashionable in the United States, driven by the efforts of prominent figures. The wife of the 27th U.S. President, William Howard Taft, Helen, was the first to drive an electric car, sparking a boom in sales. Several American companies were involved in producing electric cars at that time, including Baker Motor Vehicle Company, Milburn Wagon Company, and Anderson Electric Car Company. Electric cars were seen as having a bright future in the global market, but this was not meant to be realized in the next century. The era of electric cars came to an end with the advent of the Model T by the Ford Motor Company in 1908. This revolutionary Ford model became the world's first car produced in the millions. Thanks to its simplified design and low cost, the Model T flooded the market. The Model T was sold for $650, while a comparable electric car cost around $1,750. The Texas oil boom of the 1920s marked the end of the electric car era. Cheap fuel became widely available. Gas stations were built along roads throughout America, including rural areas without electricity access. As a result, electric cars virtually disappeared by the 1930s. Tesla's story begins in 1990, when young electrical engineer Martin Eberhard met computer developer Mark Turpening. On July 1, 2003, they founded Tesla Motors. The company was established to achieve what giants in the automobile industry could not, to establish the production of efficient and affordable electric cars. Throughout 2003, Eberhard and Tarpening refined their idea and developed a commercial proposal that could attract investors. Their approach was different. Instead of producing the most affordable electric car, as GM and others did, they started with a luxury sports car. The idea was to integrate all the necessary components for road efficiency into a high-end vehicle. They chose the Lotus Elise as the basis for their new electric car and borrowed some components from T0. By early 2004, all agreements were signed and Eberhard and Tarpening could start seeking investors. In April 2004, Inspired by Eberhard and Tarpening's ideas, Elon Musk joined Tesla Motors. The co-founder of PayPal and the founder of SpaceX led the Series A investment round, investing around $6.5 million of his own money and became the chairman of the company's board of directors. Although Musk was not at the origins of this business, he made it successful. The first car was named the Roadster. Tesla opened its own production facility in Fremont a factory covering 5.5 million square feet, previously owned by Toyota and General Motors. By 2006, the company employed over 100 people. In May, the first prototype of the new electric sports car, EP1, was ready. In the second investment round, around $40 million was raised. According to Forbes, Elon Musk invested $13 million, and the rest came from major American venture capital funds, including Valor Equity Partners, Compass Technology Partners, Vantage Point Capital Partners, and Google co-founders Larry Page and Sergey Brin. On July 19, 2006, Tesla held a grand presentation of the Roadster prototype in Santa Monica. The guest list of 350 invitees included prominent politicians, movie stars, and billionaires, including California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. The goal of the presentation was to create the list of 100. 
the first 100 buyers of the Roadster. Guests were offered a checkbook at the party, a test drive of the prototype, and the opportunity to buy an exclusive model for $100,000. Within two weeks after the presentation, Tesla sold 127 cars. The company was in the spotlight. Articles started appearing in the Washington Post, the New York Times, and other American newspapers. However, despite this, the company faced numerous challenges. For instance, the production of components and parts for the Roadster was spread across dozens of countries in Europe and Asia. Due to a lack of attention to the choice of foreign partners, unclear accounting, and erroneous cost calculations, the car's cost increased from the initial estimate of 85000 to almost 200000 On August 8, 2007, Eberhard resigned. Temporary leadership was taken over by former CEO of electronics manufacturer Flextronics, Michael Marx. However, on November 27, 2007, Marx was replaced by Zayev Drory, former CEO of car electronics manufacturer Clifford Electronics. Elon Musk, on the other hand, became more deeply involved in Tesla's affairs. By that time, his managerial skills were unquestionable. He earned a reputation as a tough, aggressive, sometimes even tyrannical but effective manager. Within a year, Musk essentially rebuilt Tesla's entire management system, significantly reshuffling the staff. By the end of 2007, Turpening left the company, unable to accept the new changes. Musk's firm management yielded results, even before the launch of the Roadster. Tesla was known worldwide. By 2008, the company was finally ready to release its first electric car. However, after a review, Tesla faced dismal results. The development of the car cost $140 million, five times more than the initially budgeted amount. To save the company, Elon Musk invested tens of millions more dollars from his personal budget and once again turned to investment funds. After successfully stabilizing the situation, Musk became the CEO of Tesla in October 2008. On May 19, 2009, Daimler AG bought 10% of Tesla for $50 million. At the same time, serial production of the Roadster began. The model proved to be successful. By 2012, 2,600 units had rolled off the assembly line. The Roadster effectively became the world's first fully accessible electric car. The prototype of Tesla's second model, the Tesla Model S, was unveiled in 2009 at the Frankfurt Motor Show in Germany. The second car by Musk went into production in 2012. On a single charge, Model S could travel 426 kilometers. The battery charging time was reduced to 30 minutes. In the most expensive configuration, the car could accelerate from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 3.1 seconds. Prices for the Model S started at $75,000. By the end of 2018, 263,500 cars of this model were sold worldwide, accounting for more than half of the company's total sales. On June 23, 2009, Tesla received a low-interest loan of $465 million from the U.S. Department of Energy. The funds allowed the completion of the development and production of the Model S sedan. On June 29, 2010, by offering its shares on NASDAQ at $17 per share, Tesla raised $226.1 million. It was the first IPO in the American automotive industry since 1956 when Ford went public. The company trades under the ticker symbol TSLA. In September 2012, the first eight Tesla supercharger stations became operational. The development of this infrastructure played a significant role in ensuring sustainable demand for Tesla cars. Owners were allowed to charge their vehicles for free at these stations from the beginning. Currently, the global supercharger network includes around 1,500 stations, with 6 to 40 stalls in more than 50 countries. In 2013, Tesla reported its first quarterly profit. The business became profitable. On June 12, 2014, Tesla opened access to all its patents. Elon Musk promised that the company would not file lawsuits against those who wanted to use its technologies. On October 9, 2014, Musk introduced the semi-autonomous driving system Autopilot. Thanks to radars, image recognition cameras, 
and sonar sensors. It includes features such as lane recognition, adaptive cruise control, and active emergency braking. In the same year, Tesla began building large factories, which it called Gigafactories, for the production of batteries and vehicles. The first factory opened in 2016 near Reno, Nevada. Gigafactories opened in Buffalo, New York, and Shanghai, China, with new ones planned. On April 30, 2015, Tesla introduced Powerwall and Powerpack, large rechargeable batteries for residential and industrial use. Musk called these batteries the missing link in Tesla's business model and stated that 160 million Powerpack batteries would be enough to meet the energy needs of the entire United States. Following this, Tesla officially declared itself as not just an electric car manufacturer, but also an innovative energy company. In the first month after the battery presentation, preliminary orders were placed for 50,000 power walls and 25,000 power packs, with a total value exceeding $800 million. In 2015, Tesla began mass production of its first full-size crossover, the Tesla Model X, capable of covering about 500 kilometers on a single charge. Tesla reported pre-orders worth $40 million at the time. Over time, Musk managed to bring Tesla's reality closer to the mission it declared. The cost of electric cars decreased, and their specification matched those of gasoline-powered cars. On August 1, 2016, Tesla's board approved the acquisition of SolarCity, a solar energy systems manufacturer founded in 2006 by Elon Musk's cousins, Peter and Lyndon Rye, for $2.6 billion. The deal was closed in November and Musk became the chairman of the company's board of directors. On February 1, 2017, the company changed its official name from Tesla Motors to Tesla Inc. On November 17, 2017, the new prototype of the new Tesla Roadsters was unveiled, this time with a starting price of $200,000, capable of accelerating from 0 to 100 kilometers in 1.9 seconds. On August 7, 2018, Elon Musk tweeted, Considering taking Tesla private at 420, funding secured. This statement caused the company's stock to rise by 10%. Bloomberg estimated the cost of buying back all publicly traded shares of the company at $66 billion. However, at the end of the month, Musk stated that Tesla would remain public. The Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, filed a lawsuit against Elon Musk for his misleading tweet, which led Tesla investors astray. In the same month, after several public mocks of SEC by Musk, the company removed him from the position of chairman of the board, pledged to monitor his social media activity, and paid a fine of $20 million. In 2017, the company released its most affordable model, the Tesla Model 3, the standard version which did not exceed $35,000. The model was presented to the public on April 1, 2016. The prototype was presented a year earlier, and within the first week of pre-sales, 325,000 people reserved the car, totaling more than $14 billion. On November 16, 2017, Tesla held the presentation of Tesla semi-electric truck, deliveries of which were supposed to start in 2019. Without recharging, the Tesla semi can cover a distance of up to 800 kilometers. On March 14, 2019, Tesla introduced the compact crossover Model Y, aimed at the mass market. The cheapest version costs $39,000. The company expects sales of this car to break records set by the Model 3. From 2015 to 2020, Tesla became involved in acquisitions, buying several lesser-known companies. Riviera Tool, Groman Engineering, Herbix, Compass Automation, High Bar Systems and German ATW Automation to expand Tesla's expertise in automation, as well as Maxwell Technologies and Sil Lion to enhance Tesla's capabilities in battery technologies. Groman and Maxwell will continue to operate as subsidiaries, while the rest will be integrated into Tesla. In July 2021, Musk admitted that Tesla sold Maxwell to a former vice president of sales. Later, Tesla introduced the Cybertruck, an electric six-seater pickup truck, the company received 250,000 pre-orders. Tesla achieved its goal of producing half a million cars in 2020, 
The company ended the year with over $19 billion in cash, compared to $6.3 billion at the end of 2019. Against the backdrop of the cryptocurrency gold rush, Tesla announced in January 2021 that it had purchased Bitcoins worth over $1.5 billion. The company stated its intention to accept the currency as payment for Tesla vehicles, but this arrangement didn't last long. In 2021, Tesla became the most valuable automaker, surpassing the Japanese car manufacturer Toyota in market capitalization. On July 21st of the same year, founder Elon Musk tweeted that Tesla intends to make its network of fast charging stations available for electric vehicles from other manufacturers as well. 